Hello everyone. In this video I'll be showing how I've developed a ESP8266 web server. I'm using this um, D1 Mini board which is uh, becoming quite popular. Um, I like it because it's stackable. It has uh, a number of shields that you can use. I'm uh, just using f uh, three here. Um, there's also an LED shield, a display shield, a small o OLED 96 by 64 display, um, and there's also a, a power, a LiPo power power board which charges a LiPo and acts as a battery backup. It's quite a good range. So if you go to the WeMOS uh, webpage, you'll see the products. Um, this one here is um, is an SD card uh, reader. This one's using the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, and this one here is a uh, relay. So what I do is stack, um, get them around the right way. You can stack this one here, the shield on top of the Wemos, and then stack the temperature. It doesn't really matter which order you put them in because they're all independently connected. The temperature sensor onto there, and then the relay sensor. It finally goes relay. A shield, sorry, goes on top there, and there's the um, the assembly. Uh, get quite high, but there's the assembly uh, ready to be used. And now I'll power up the board. You can hear it connected. To, so I'm just providing power to the to the unit now. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is connect to the web server being served out by the ESP8266 and I know it's assigned the address of 192.168.0.42 and there up comes the web page. I've got examples here of displaying example images, a single image, switching the onboard LED on and off and controlling the relay getting the DHT 11 temperature humidity readings and in a special case I another example of taking the DHT 11 temperature humidity readings writing the values to the SD card creating a HTML web page and then displaying that web page a link to my own web page and back to the home page so First of all, I'll display a single image. This is a high resolution image. I'm just doing that to show you how uh, the transfer speed is affected by image size. Back to the home page. I've got some weather icon images there, just, just for examples, really. And I'll go back to the home page. So if I click control the LED, switch the LED on uh, hold up the board there the LED is is now on and you get status feedback from the and if I then hold, if I hold the board there in the field of view and go back to the home page control the LED I'll switch it off uh, back to the home page switch it back on again back to the home page. Relay, switch the relay on. You get heard the click there probably and the LED status. And I'll go back and switch the relay off. Uh, I'll read the temperature from the DHT11 sensor. It's currently 26 degrees, 55 relative humidity and there's an update readings box there 
it just went to 52% probably because I'm holding it up in the air back to the home page and this special case here where it's going to I'll do that click on there is going to read read the temperature write the temperature to the SD card and then display this HTML web page it's exactly the same um, but I'm just showing that you can use that to um, that function to parse uh, data values to the SD card for data logging for example um, I'll call up my own web page there it is back to the web server and um, so there you have it so that is um, showing how you can uh, use a web server create a web server using the Wemos ESP8266 if you want the code get in contact with me via YouTube and I'll forward you the code and the uh, SD card contents and uh, you can then experiment the same way that I'm doing. Bye for now.